Hey everybody, wanted to make a quick video on a new washer dryer combo that we just got two weeks ago actually. It's an Edge Star and it is the CWD 1550W. The reason that I'm making this video is that we had a problem with it right off the bat. If you wash clothes and after the spin cycle was finished, the clothes would be pretty much damp. Um, obviously not dry, but not soaking wet either. So that part worked fine. But if you use the dryer function, the clothes came out wringing wet. I mean, it was like you just dropped them in a bucket of water, waited a minute, and then pulled them back out. That's how wet they were. So I tried to call customer service, was on hold perpetually couldn't deal with that so I sent them an email and a couple hours later to my surprise I received an email back and they asked a few questions three or four emails later they advised that I removed the lid of the washer um, kind of strange request but that's what I did so to remove the lid I'll show you real quick it's actually quite easy you can use a regular screwdriver or I'm going to use a cordless there's only two screws that hold it together and I'm not sure because I've got a wall here so I can't get too far away if this is going to focus but one of the screws is right here so we'll blow that one out set the camera down so I can catch a screw. Now, I've already had this off and took care of the problem but I wanted to show you start to finish what the deal is. And then the other screw is on this side and there are only two so we'll take this one out. Again I'll have to set the camera down. They're very short screws, so they're easy to get in and out. Okay. So we have the two screws out. And to get the lid off, all you really have to do is just push it back a little bit. You'll see the gap. Then lift it up in the rear and pull it right out of the way. So I was happy to see that it wasn't a billion screws to remove. Now the first thing they had me do was check this. This is actually a, um, a white metal and they said that if the unit was working correctly that this is going to be hot. So you don't want to lay your fingers on it if it is running because it definitely does get hot. So if this is hot then pretty much everything is functioning the way it's supposed to. Um, also, they asked me if there were any codes. The codes will show up here on the front screen. And I did not have any codes, which they thought was odd. But I've had a lot of experience with cars and stuff. So things that don't look right just kind of pop out at me. And if you see this line, it's actually a water line. This wire tie had this line secured here to the back of the unit. Well, what I noticed was when that was secured, if you follow this line down, you'll see that there's a kink right here. And it's a pretty good kink. Let me see if I can use my cell phone light to lighten it up a little bit so you can get a better look at it. So I think you can see that kink. No rhyme pun intended. Um, okay, so what all I did was was take this off of the back of the, the unit and bring it right out here so that it has a nice smooth curve. And then you can see that that kink disappeared. So after that, I ran a load of clothes through it wash and dry and they came out perfect now I'm not sure what effect that has on it because that's actually plumbed into the cold water side um, the inlet 
which is kind of weird. You would think of anything that would block the water and things would be real dry, but that's not the case. So I've done a couple of loads since just to verify that there was no problems and it's been working great ever since. So I just wanted to share that somebody else out there has to have this problem. I can't imagine mine was the only one designed like this. So if you have any questions or comments, I'll reply. Thanks y'all. Have a great day.